The territory environment and lifestyle relies on free-flowing rivers. And as our economy grows, so does the demand for water. That's why the Northern Territory Government is introducing a policy on taking water from rivers in the wet season to ensure the right balance for the environment, the economy and our territory lifestyle. The policy makes sure enough water stays in the river system, maintaining environmental and cultural values all the way to the sea. The government has been monitoring river flows in the Territory for more than 60 years. These monitoring activities provide scientific information to support the policy and ongoing management. Using this information and scientific modelling, the allowable take is worked out using a formula. The formula calculates the total flow for the three highest flow months each year for each of the last 50 years. The formula selects the 25th percentile year and calculates 5% of flow for that year. Some existing research says that up to 10% of a river's wet season flow can be taken without impact to the diversity of aquatic ecosystems. But we know how important our rivers are, and that's why we are taking a very conservative approach, taking only 5% of the three wettest months flow and based on the drier years, will have less impact and reduce risk. When there is strong demand for water, then a water allocation plan can be prepared to work out the best way to sustainably share the water. If the wet doesn't come each year, then the controller of water resources can stop the water take to preserve the river flows, cultural values and ecosystems. The policy delivers a good balance, meeting growing demand for water and ensuring our free-flowing rivers are maintained. For more information, ask water.licensing at nt.gov.au.